welcome back to medical class bell's palsy what is bell's palsy it is a sudden paralysis of facial nerve at the stylomastoid foramen causing asymmetry of the muscles on the one side of the face damage to the facial nerve causes bell's palsy this disorder was first described by charles bell these are five branchial arches that are found in embryonic phase so the facial nerve arises from the second branchial arch facial nerve is the seventh cranial nerve this is pons it arises from the pons of the brain stem this is the facial nerve and it is attached to the brain stem by two roots the motor and the sensory roots this is the stylomastoid foramen it leaves the skull through the stylomastoid foramen branches of the facial nerve this is the facial nerve coming out from the stylomastoid foramen the first branch is the temporal branch the zygomatic branch is the second branch third is the buccal branch fourth is the marginal mandibular branch and fifth is the cervical branch damage to the facial nerve can cause bell's palsy However, the underlying cause can be idiopathic. It is often associated with viral and bacterial infections such as herpes simplex virus, Epstein-Barr virus, and varicella zoster virus. Now let's see the clinical features. It affects unilateral part of the face and asymmetry is seen like inability to close the eyelid. reduced lacrimal secretions facial drooping drooling of the saliva and decreased taste sensation at the anterior two third of the tongue what are the associated symptoms headache increased sensitivity to loud sounds and jaw pain let's see the clinical examination first is the frontalis muscle Ask the patient to look upwards without moving his head then look for normal horizontal wrinkles on the forehead Next is ask the patient to show his teeth Next for the buccinator muscle ask the patient to puff the cheeks and blow forcefully Next test is for orbicularis oculi tight closure of eyes Now what is the differential diagnosis for Bell's palsy acute stroke Acute stroke is nothing but the interrupted blood supply to the brain. It is seen mostly above 60 years of age. The lower face is always affected in acute stroke. In Bell's palsy, upper and lower face both are affected. The associated symptoms with acute stroke are weakness, numbness, slurred speech, double vision and vertigo. Let's see the clinical significance. corneal scar or impaired vision when there is drooping of the eyelid the eyelid gets inverted the lacrimal fluid does not spread over the cornea and there is no adequate hydration or lubrication that can cause a corneal scar food accumulation in the oral vestibule now what is the treatment corticosteroids are used to reduce the inflammation of the facial nerve Bell's palsy usually resolves on its own within 6 months. Physiotherapy can help prevent permanent muscle contractions. So to summarize, we learned anatomy of the facial nerve in brief. Charles Bell was the first one to describe Bell's palsy. We learned causes of Bell's palsy, mostly the damage to the facial nerve, the signs and symptoms and clinical features of Bell's palsy, mostly affecting the unilateral face. Then we learned about diagnosis and differential diagnosis. Bell's palsy is associated with various bacterial and viral infections. Clinical examination and the treatment. You can find the link to the MCQs for this topic in the description of the video. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for updates regarding our new videos. 
See you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy and have an amazing week.